everybody, this is Jenny, my friend. Today is January 3rd. We wrote down our New Year's resolution today and we decided to share them with you. Yeah. How many goals do you have? Like basically one, two, three, four, five. Five? five? Yeah. So she has five big ones. Healthy actions every day and like I bite my nails a lot. So that's one of the goals that I want to do. It's like stop biting my nails this year. I will like pick a monthly exercise thingy that uh -huh. Coco talked to me about. I'll cook more because I don't cook. Like I hate cooking. And I will do boxing this year. Do a routine every day. For example, like finish my homework daily and stuff like that. And then also like I sleep really late. So this year I'm trying to sleep early and wake up early. Are you? No. And I want to be productive this year. And like I want to learn how to play guitar. I want to donate blood on my birthday. So I'm trying to gain weight. I will travel to Sydney and Gold Coast. My theme for this year is self-love, mm -hmm. to be patient with myself and to respect myself. Originally, I also had five big ones, but I added two more at the end. When we were writing, we kind of bounced our ideas of each other. So many of these will sound similar, which is good because then we can make sure we're sticking to it. Just do it. That's my first goal. Mm -hmm. To just do it. Um, I have the tendency of running away from my problems and not facing it. So just do it can apply to um, facing my problems, thinking about them, and especially school. So that's number one. And number two is to minimize. I will minimize my clothes, my makeup, and data on my hard drive, and my laptop. I like to keep them a lot because I'm an aspiring filmmaker and it's hard to throw things away because what if you need them? So that's two. And three, I'm very excited about this because mm -hmm. I've kind of been doing it. Do something artistic every day. Um, this can be poetry, drawing, sketch, painting, journaling. I will have to have one creative outlet every week. That's number three. And four, make healthy decisions every day. You know, early, sleeping early, to drink more water and to know when I'm full because I eat a lot. I do way. eat a lot. And the way I was raised is to not leave any food on the plate when I'm done. My stomach keeps expanding and so does the rest of my body. <laughs> okay. That was funny. Um, and to exercise. It's helpful when I have a calendar and it tells me what to do so I don't have to think about what I should do. I just pick a calendar and when the calendar ends, I will start another calendar. I highly recommend it. Last original one is to develop a morning and evening routine. I read on Times Magazine, successful people like they have a morning routine and an evening routine. It minimizes surprises and when surprises are minimized, you're in control and when you have that sense of control, you deal with things better. Uh, my two add-ons are to, the first one is to spend more quality time, communicate more with family and friends. Friends are like, oh, super great. And family, I'm liking in that department. I want to work on it. And the last one, Jenny tackles that in her resolution. Come to terms with my trichotillomania and dermatillomania. For Jenny, it's her biting her nails. For me, I, I pull out my hair and I pick at my like, scars. I don't want to have permanent scars or like permanent hair damage where I reach a point that uh, my hair won't grow back anymore. I actually have a very thick head of hair, so the damage is not visible. It just really scares me. Those are my New Year resolutions. Mm -hmm. And Jenny, I'm gonna make sure you fulfill all of your resolutions, okay? I will do that too. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching and... Have a great 2016. Yay. Find good friends like this one. Peace out. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> tech, tech, technology. So basically, so basically